we're gonna add some gold leaf to this gorgeous first postcard from the holiday postcard special which consists of pomegranates and flowers and now we're gonna add a little bit of gold leaf onto the pomegranates and maybe even sporadically around the area as well just to give it that additional special touch really quickly the paper I am using over here is the etcher postcards because this is a postcard holiday special and it is a hundred percent cotton so we are putting some gold leaf onto watercolor so the first thing we're gonna lay down is the adhesive size and I'm using the Mona Lisa gold leaf kit which comes with the adhesive and the sealer and also a little bit of gold leaf all right so here we go I've got my brush and I'm just going to go ahead and <clears throat> get some of the size and after you use this you just wash your brush in water and soap and you are good to go regardless though I'm still using a brush because I've never really used gold leaf before my first time so I'm going to okay. use I'm going to use a brush that I don't typically need or isn't that great and I want this placed on here in a sporadic manner so um, I'm picking this area over here just around just around the the glisten that you can see and I'll probably do like a dot in there as well just to kind of give it that nice rustic look rustic no uh, random look I would say and then I'm going to add a little bit around over here as well so let me just see where I want to add it here and I want so when I apply I'm going to add some over here as well so when I apply the gold leaf I want it to look very not random but not clean edges so like uneven edges to kind of really form this shape okay so you can have so I'm going for like some thick areas here and I want it to be very uneven uneven is the right word I believe that I'm looking for so kind of just highlighting certain areas of our of our um, our pomegranate okay so now once I am done placing my stuff my adhesive I will then wait for this to dry for about half an hour and like I mentioned I want to have some stuff happening around the area as well so I'll do a little bit over the flower I'm gonna do some just kind of outside so it'll look like there's gold kind of emerging from from our pomegranate just a little bit here and there and hopefully this covers the whole space for it and it should be good enough but I am excited to see how this turns out anyway so this is where I'm placing it let's just see what happens and uh, go from there so once you can no longer see your size on here it's called the liquid that we put on or the glue is called size um, that's when you know it's done and it's ready and it's been half an hour already so I know we are good now I'm gonna slip out some of the gold leaf from here and I have to be very careful with it because guys it is extremely extremely fine so here we go I'm just gonna try and pull this out pull this booklet out because this pack comes with a booklet and so and here we go we're just gonna lay it on there and I'm gonna take this big brush, the Princeton, uh, what was it called? The wash, and we're going to make sure that this is stuck on nicely. And then once it is done, If we just peel it off, this should work. Oh, 
that's why it was it, it looked so durable because it's on a piece of plastic and now apparently you just take your brush and you're able to just go around in a circular motion to kind of get rid of all the excess bits and pieces of this gold leaf and I have to say I am very impressed with the kind of detail that I'm getting here with this and I'll show you guys in a bit just as soon as I get all of this off and then dust this off and I'm going to probably collect some of this because I know with the upcoming uh, postcards that we're doing I'll probably use some of this and why not these are so pretty or oh, there's such a charming little effect I guess just do something like this get it all off nicely And then here we go, we've got this gold effect. It is absolutely stunning and gorgeous, guys. Like I, I'm looking at this up close and I cannot even begin to tell you how much of a difference this is in comparison to taking watercolor metallics or using watercolor metallics rather. And it's gorgeous. All right, so I've taken all of that off and this is what we have this is what we're left with. I absolutely love the results, guys. The lighting isn't fabulous right now, but you can just imagine what this looks like in person. There is one final step that we need to do. We need to add the sealer over this, and this is what will protect our gold leafing from, I guess, getting scratched off or anything like that. So the instructions are on here. They're pretty basic. I'm not going to make this a part of the video um, and leave you guys with this. So if you really like this postcard and you're interested in creating your own holiday postcards, make sure you sign up for the holiday postcard special that I'm having all season and uh, partake in some fancy postcard making for family and loved ones, right? So yeah, and in addition to that, if you end up doing some gold leafing, I would love to see what you do. So please do tag me in your work on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and I've listed where you can get or links to the gold leaf kit below in the description. So feel free to avail of that. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching and we'll chat soon. Have a great day. Bye.